Our immune system is used to touching. We share bacteria, staphylococcal, streptococcal bacteria, viruses. We develop an immune response daily to this stuff. When you take that away from me, my immune system drops. As I shelter in place, my immune system drops. What this doctor is talking about is something called the hygienic theory. Uh, and this hygienic theory is actually the exact opposite of what this doctor is saying. When you overly protect yourself, you boil your children's water, you don't allow them to play in the dirt, you're constantly disinfecting everything and anything that you touch, you're not exposed enough uh, to viruses and bacteria, so your immune system actually goes up, not drops. And it actually goes up to the point where it starts overreacting to non-threats. And as a result, we've seen increases in autoimmune conditions, in allergies, because we don't have those bacteria and viruses that we need to be exposed to. So yes, you need to be exposed to viruses, bacteria in order to be healthy and for your immune system to function optimally. Completely agree with that. But now, during a pandemic, when you need to shelter in place for a period of six to eight weeks, that is not gonna harm your immune system either up or down to the point where it's gonna destroy your flora and now you can't protect yourself from illness. If that was the case, we would just not survive as humans as long as we have. We can easily adapt to these circumstances, especially because even if we don't go outside, we're covered in bacteria. Millions and trillions of bacteria are on and inside of us. It is part of our natural flora. And just because we not, may not be going outside a lot, we still go to the grocery store, we walk our dogs, we spend a little time in the park. That is more than enough of exposure to bacteria and viruses that your body needs in order to function optimally. That vaccine was grown in a cell line, a dog cell line. Dogs have lots of coronaviruses, and that's why they're not testing there. She said that because this flu virus came from cells of dogs, and dogs have coronaviruses, therefore these people have coronaviruses, therefore they're not being tested. Honestly, just it's a purely illogical statement. Like, there's no other way to put that. Uh, humans have coronaviruses. In fact, if you ever had the common cold, the odds are once in your life it was caused by a coronavirus. The two most common viruses causing the common cold are the rhinovirus followed by the coronavirus. She's taking things that are happening simultaneously and connecting them without any kind of proof of this causation. Experts are allowed to have theories and a lot of these theories will be proven to be incorrect. That's part of the scientific process. But you have to approach this with a level of humility by knowing that anytime you're putting out a theory, it could be wrong. And I don't feel like she's doing that here by acting as if what she's saying is 100% accurate with no evidence to back it up. Wearing the mask literally activates your own virus. Wearing the mask actually activates your own virus. I can't even begin to process what that means. Wearing the mask does not protect you. Wearing the mask protects your respiratory droplets from entering the environment and getting others sick. And you may say to yourself, well, I'm not sick, I don't look sick. Well, yeah, we've seen a lot of people who don't show symptoms actually be spreading this virus. That's why it's been so tricky, and that's why it's so different from the flu. They've done such a great job at manipulating the masses that it's other people shutting down other citizens, and the big tech platforms follow suit, and they shut everything down. There is no dissenting voices allowed anymore in this free country. They're dissenting voices, and I'm hearing them right now, and no one's arresting them for saying this. That is the definition of free speech. Whether or not a company wants to put you on their server is not free speech. It's about public free speech. You're allowed to go say and hold any belief you want, as long as it's not putting the public in danger.